In this tutorial in Windows 10, I'd like to introduce you to a utility that is part of Windows 10 called the Snipping Tool. I'd like to show you how to get to it so you can activate it and then how you can use it. In order to activate it, I'm going to click either on the window in the lower left corner or the window key on my keyboard on my desktop. And when I do that, I see my applications. If it's in my shortcut menu, and mine is, it will look like this, a scissor and a couple of circles called the snipping tool. If you do not have it in your shortcuts, you need to go to the left side where you have an alphabetized list of all your programs. Again, I will click on just one of the letter categories of the alphabet. Click on W for Windows. Click on Windows Accessories and then choose Snipping Tool. But there's a much faster way to get there. I can use Cortina and, and ask me anything. I can type in the first couple letters of the program. I type in S. Whoops, that's all I need. And there I have the program. So I can go ahead and click on it and activate it. Let me do that. And now I have my Snipping Tool activated. On the screen that you're seeing, I have a very small window here that contains a, a, an image that's part of the Amazon website. And I'm going to snip it. What does that mean? That means I will cut out part of my visible screen and turn it into an image. So I'm going to click on a new snip. If I click on the down arrow next to new, I see I have several options. I can use freeform, rectangular, window, or full screen. Most people will use the first one or the second one, so that's what I'm going to focus on. There are some options over here, but I have not seen any real reason to change them. Uh, you can experiment with them if you want to. So let's do, first of all, a rectangular snip. When I click on that, there's this white haze over my entire screen and my cursor turns into a plus sign. So now I need to draw my rectangle. I'm going to hold down the left button on what will be my upper left corner of my image. And as I drag it, you see it turns back to the normal color. And I will just cut this part out right here. And when I'm done dragging, I let go of the mouse and I have my snip or my picture. When I'm done with it, I can click on the file menu. I can send it to an email recipient, or I can send it as an attachment, or I can print it, or I can save it. This is what I do mostly. I will save this picture I just created. Let me click on that for now. I'll click on Save As, and it defaults to the last place I sna saved a snip. The default name for it is Capture. You see I have one here. And what I will simply do, I'll change this one to call Test 2. And it, I'll, I can do a PNG, a GIF, a JPEG, or an HTML file. I will use a PNG, very flexible t type. And I'll click on Save. And now I have saved this image. Let me do another snip. I'm going to click on New. And now I'm going to click on the down arrow. Well, let's try a free form snip. Now you see it changed now from the plus key to the scissors. And what I can do here is I can take and I can draw any kind of shape I so desire. Let go. And there's my <laughs> rather grotesque looking snip. Again, I have the option once I've done that uh, to save it or to send it or to print it. I can also write on here. I have different ways I can customize my my pen. Let's try that. We'll go customize. I can change the point. Let's try a thick one. I can change the tip. Let's do a round one. Let's keep it blue. So now I'm on my custom pen. All right, now I will go ahead and write things that I want here. A little smiley face, a couple of eyes here. Oh, we're doing glasses, it looks like. Okay, there we go. 
And again, you can use the eraser just to touch any of the segments that you've drawn with the same mouse and they will disappear. So you can do some modest editing here. Here's the short short for the email. Um, <coughs> here is an icon to save the snip. Here's one to copy it. So basically I will if I want to save it I can click here and again uh, it will give me the option of putting it where I did before. We'll do test three and I save my snip. This is a great way to take whatever you can show on your monitor and turn it into a, f in, into a JPEG or a PNG or another graphic file in Microsoft Windows using the Snip tool. If you can display it on the computer screen, you can turn it into an image using the Snipping tool in Windows 10. I'm Jim from the Sharper Turtle. If you found this tutorial useful, we'd like to ask you to like us and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Then you can receive notice of new lessons as they become available. Also, check out all our lessons in neat categories on our website at sharperturtle.com. Thank you.